Hello guys and welcome back to How Plays The Wolf Among Us, Episode 5, Cry Wolf. Finally we made it, we made it to the last episode and I don't know why I'm saying it like that because I actually played all the episodes in like less than two weeks. <laughs> which is very, uh, which makes me very happy, I really enjoyed this game so far. I have, um, I'm very happy that I decided to play it all at once. It was a very interesting, fun experience. If this is the first video you're watching of me, if you haven't seen the rest of the game, be sure to check the channel. I have all the four episodes which I've played in the, throughout the last week or two. And now I'm here to uh, episode 5 Cry Wolf, which is a bit more fresh in your minds, uh, probably because it came out just a few weeks ago, uh, as of the time of this recording. And it will conclude the story of the Wolf Among Us. Um, as far as I know, there's no plans for a second season. Maybe I'm wrong, I'll check it out after I'm finished. But it doesn't matter, uh, this game has been great so far, I'm really enjoyed it, It's it's been very intense and unpredictable, and I'm hoping that um, most of all the ending of the game, which will be in this episode, is gonna be good or, and interesting and logical as well. Let's hope they keep up the, um, the good work. So anyway, no recaps, no anything, I'll let the game tell you what happened, and we'll go right into it, so let's go. I hope you enjoy. <sighs> it's been a long journey and finally, so much uh, stuff is supposed to happen in this episode, so I can't wait. I mean, your eyes and the teeth, you're not really supposed to do that, are you? And the lag. Jesus. <laughs> not if I can avoid it. I like that. They're showing that I've changed. No. Holly's sister, Lily. We're gonna find out the cure in this I episode. I just don't know what Bigby's doing. If he, if he cares about it, if he even gives a shit. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? We're destroying the tree. No! We're not burning the tree, Snow. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? I don't know. Snow will come around. She's just... You know, the crane thing hit her hard, and she doesn't really know who her friends are right now. <laughs> Bitch. Oh God, Bigby! This time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Fuck. Bigby, wait. When you get the crooked man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. And now I hope we pick up exactly where we left off. I want to talk to this guy. Oh, this time there's no introduction. There's no opening sequence. We just sip to the to the credits or whatever this is called. That's very good. This is it. Uh, judging from the recap, I hope that a lot of the decisions I made so far are gonna have consequences here, and hopefully they will have positive cons consequences because if they don't. Well, I'm gonna be very upset because I have tried so hard to make Bigby change into a better person, which is what the game was about, him changing his ways, and I hope, I think I've done a good job, and I hope it come, it counts for something in the end, and we'll see. But I, I, it looks promising. Episode 5, Cry Wolf. This is it. You've come a long way. You must be tired. Let's see what this guy is all about. I don't trust him. As far as I'm concerned, he's the biggest villain here. And if my envoys are correct, you haven't had a lot of rest recently. <laughs> 
Please, Sheriff. Relax for a moment, will you? He wants to buy me off. Want to drink? Something to eat? No, thanks. I'm good. Vigil makes a very nice, very. It's elegant. Really, a carpaccio. It's lobster. Sirloin. Well, Gramercy me. Take a seat at the very least. I'm here for one reason, and it's not to eat your fucking food. Really? Yes, really. What do you think you're doing? He's gonna. Mr. Wolf is our guest, and I have every intention of cooperating. Ooh. So don't waste the silver. Sit down, Jersey. Don't waste it, huh? Well, Sheriff, for the sake of transparency, why don't you tell us why you're here? It would help settle everyone's nerves, I think. You're destroying this town. You're destroying this town. You've been doing it for ages. Destroying this town? What on earth do you mean? What the hell do you think I mean? Slavery? Kidnapping? Extortion? Murder? What would you call the wholesale corruption of Fabled Town? I would call it the baseless accusation of a desperate sheriff. How are you certain this isn't some conspiracy against me? Oh, really? I'm a well-connected man. Well-moneyed. People do like to take their shots at me. You're, you're right that there's a conspiracy, but you're the one behind it. I have no need for treachery, Bigby. I do everything right out in the open. But I can understand... Oh, yes, that's why you're hiding. And I'm truly sorry about the trouble all this has caused you. And I hope you believe me when I say, Sheriff, that I sincerely mean to make it up to you. The recent murders that have gotten such attention as of late, I don't relish telling you that they were perpetrated by an employee of mine. Yes. It's a very unfortunate bit of business, but I promise you that the matter will be dealt with internally. I just want to settle the issue for you and to assure you that it's over with. I know you who really did it. You don't need to worry yourself further. You know what? I'm gonna be a badass. I already know who did it. Forgive me, Sheriff, for doubting your acumen. But who do you think committed these crimes? It's been a long couple of days for you. Perhaps you've become somewhat unscrewed. It was Mary. <laughs> no, Sheriff. I'm afraid you're mistaken. I have complete respect for you and your job. Fuck! Really what? Do, but I'm sorry. I simply can't divulge the transgressor. You really shouldn't worry yourself. As I said, I've got this under control. Have these options? No. Hmm. I'm gonna deal with it right now. Yeah, right. What do you think this is? Some kind of negotiation? The man said he'd take care of it. So why don't you take the hint and get out? I'm the law here, not you. Now tell me who did it. You <laughs> think I'm scared of you? <laughs> You're nothing more That's than That's enough. I think all the options were wrong. We come to this, but in the interest of preserving our alliance, if you have to know, it was Georgie. Fuck! I was right then. Why didn't oh, I? Uh... I said. I'll be handling the matter if you don't mind. Georgie. You got what you wanted, so just sit what? down. Why did I sit now? I'm such an idiot. Yeah, I killed him, so what? Why? Just keep your nose where it fucking belonged. Why'd you do it? Why kill them? Does it matter? Look, the fact is. George here misinterpreted one of my instructions. Misinterpreted? And I want to make things right. So, let's work something out. What's there to work out? I'm protected, aren't I? Your protection has limits, and I think you've far exceeded yours. But you could murder someone in cold blood like that. You fucking asked me to do this! And you then told attempt me to, to kill blame him. me for it. You will be silent while we discuss what to do with you. Oh this is God. right, bollocks this. You're just gonna let him do this! So what do you say, Sheriff? Can we discuss terms? You can have Georgie. Consider it a gift. Ensuring our continued cooperation. What the hell? Take this fucker! 
Take all of them. I didn't fucking Don't start make this. Any trouble, Georgie. Are you seriously throwing me under the fucking carriage after everything I've done for you? I think I'll be taking both of you. You're not taking me, you fucking ponce. What the fuck is this shit? You said you'd cover for us. For minor infractions, not murder. Just go with him, Georgie. You're gonna sink us all. What's wrong with you people? You're really gonna sell him out just like you that? You think I give a fuck if I'm the one who... Who the shit do you think you fuckers are? Get the fuck out of here! I do apologize, Sheriff, but I think it's best if you leave now. There's no way I'm going with him! Are you kidding me? Things are about to get unpleasant, and I would rather you weren't here to watch. Oh, I think you I'm gonna go stay. You can go join that whore at the bottom of the lake for all I give a shit, but he's not taking me anywhere. I'll roll over on the lot of you before I let that shit happen. What are you saying? Yeah, what the fuck? You're gonna make sure we all go down this shitter with you? I told you! I already told you. I'm taking both of you in, so let's go! This could have gone so well. Hmm. <laughs> now you show Speaking your true colors. Truth, I've never been a very good mediator. Why negotiate when you can just decide? Oh no! <laughs> Did I miss anything good? Yes, lag. Well, look at you all fixed up. I've been waiting for this. <laughs> Fuck! <clears throat> oh, this is a bit awkward. Oh my god. I think I'm a bit over my head here. What You're the fuck is this? Wolf. Come on, we're pretty much done here. Is this why I fucking spared you? Is this why I fucking spared you? That's it, that's what you get, you pieces of shit. I'm gonna kill all of you. I'm fucking killing you. Starting with you, piece of shit scum. This way. They're all escaping. No, I don't want them to get away. Is this why I fucking spare to all them so they can all gang up on me and fuck me up? Fucking scum. Crooked man. He tries to manipulate, he tries to buy you off, Come and then when he sees it doesn't go his way. Shit. I know. Yeah. No. He's a typical scumbag. But first. That's it. Come on! No! You're not gonna get away, son of a bitch! Holy shit! It's like a platforming game, I love it. Where did he go? I'm running out of time. I'm not gonna get him let him get away. I haven't missed a single one. Gotcha. What was that? That was your doom, motherfucker. No, that was the crooked man. Fuck. Ah, uh, 
should have jumped on his car. He's gonna get away now. But in the end of the day, I'm chasing after the cure. That's my main objective: kill, getting the cure, not the crooked man. Ah, oh, I hope I can get them both. Are you sure? Do it. This bitch is also involved. He's not moving. Keep going. Were they gonna hit me or kill me if I didn't move? I wonder. Maybe I should have stayed. Come on. Right. Oh, I'm so bad. How, why did I not see him? He was my prime suspect from the beginning. Oh well. Not that it, I don't think it matters anyway. And just like that I changed back to my normal form. No biggie. But anyway, I really hope I can get to um, catch both the Crooked Man and Georgie. Why am I even looking at this? He's inside, obviously. Maybe I should go... Nah, I'll just... Front door. I've never been much of a subtlety. If this episode is as intense as this all the time, this is gonna be the best episode of all of them. It's so good. Come on, we can't stay here. And this bitch, I, 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 of course she's involved. Hang on, I need a minute. Okay. You're mine. Nowhere to run. Also, this guy I wanna Shit. I wanna arrest because I he's the killer. But everyone else, I, I'm just gonna I kill them. Come to your senses. <laughs> oh. Crooked man's the one you want. I know that. You're too much of an idiot to see that. Or maybe you just like me too much to let me go. I'm taking you in, Georgie. Let's go. <sighs> You're gonna carry me? Yes. Please, Sheriff. Haven't you done enough? Look at him. He's dying. Vivian. Why? You can't seriously want to protect this guy. You know what he did. I'm not going anywhere. No, you are going to jail. <laughs> it isn't his fault. I like how that's still broken. Faith and Lily, he's the reason they're dead. Look, I know he made a few mistakes. We all have. What? He made sure they couldn't talk with those damn ribbons, and then he killed them. You're wearing one yourself. Doesn't that bother you even a little, knowing that man murdered- Of course it does. Those girls- So it's all my fucking fault then. I you didn't fucking... mean- You ah! fucking- You're gonna throw me to the fucking wolf too? You know I didn't have a goddamn choice. What the fuck? I did what I had to! You always have a choice. You can't fucking blame me for there that. There we go. Look. You didn't have to do anything. Like hell I didn't. Look, yeah. Faith and the others tried to pull a run on us. And as you can imagine, the crooked man wasn't too thrilled. But of course, the big boss didn't want to get his fucking hands dirty. So he told me to take care of it. You think I don't know what that means? Either I do what he says or I'm the one getting dealt with. So I fucking killed him. And I'd do it again. Because it's not my fault. The crooked man gave the order. He told me to kill them. And then you killed them. And then them. he fucking sold me out. You're still the one who pulled the trigger. Nobody held your hand and made you go through with it. Exactly. Fine. Believe what you want. I can tell you've made up your mind. Doesn't matter if it's fucking true or not. Go ahead and arrest me then. But it won't bring back Lily or Faith. It won't free your friend Narissa. And I'm just the sap taking the fall for the whole thing. Oh, I'm gonna get the rest it of them. It must be so easy being you. Just come in here and blame me for all this shit. Job's done, right? George is the bad guy. It's all his fucking fault. But what was I supposed to do? You don't know what it's like, Bigby. How could you know? At the end of the day, you're just like him. Come in here, talking about options. Like it was that simple. You could have done anything else. You could have let them go. You could have freed Faith and Lily from those fucking ribbons instead of murdering them. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. If I freed them... What? What would you have me do? Kill her? Georgie, don't. It was them or Vivian. 
So you tell me, if free Lily meant she had to die, do you still think I had a fucking choice? What are you doing? What are you talking about? This is the original. Well, the was... girl with the ribbon. Oh I'm sure my you've god. Heard the stories. Couldn't take it off. Couldn't talk about it. Oh she my used god. Used a little purple ribbon to make more of them. To keep our girls quiet. To ensure absolute discretion. You promised you wouldn't. All that magic is connected to this little thing. You remove hers, and the spell's broken. They're all free. But you know what happens to her? The same thing that happened to Faith. So don't you come in here and tell me I fucked up. What the hell, Georgie? We were supposed to look out for each other. I trusted you. You can't fucking blame me. You're not innocent here either. I know that. But did it have to be like this? Wait, so you've been helping this asshole? I thought you cared about them. I do. Of course I do. You have to understand, nobody was supposed to die. When That's always how it starts, isn't it? it? It was just a stupid idea. A gimmick. Discretion is our guarantee. That's how it started, anyway. This was supposed to be our place. We were going to be in charge for once, and nobody would try to control us or use us. That was the point. Then the crooked man showed up, and everything just turned to shit. So... Do you get it now? Why I couldn't just... If you still think it's so fucking simple, then you do it. Go right ahead. Kill her then. What are you doing? Break the spell. Save the fucking day. Stop it. I told you. Sometimes all your options are shit. We'll find another way. She she doesn't have to die. Maybe the witches Don't can... Don't talk about me like I'm not even here. Please. You think this is hard for you? My life is such a fucking burden on your conscience. Don't I get a say? It's my life. Like it was either of yours to give up in the first place. I, I wasn't said I'm really. Not doing Just it. shut up. Vivian, I'm not gonna kill you. I know that. Wait. I'm sick of everyone thinking that they can just do what they want with my life. Don't kill yourself, please. It would be different here. But it's all the fucking same. Vivian, I didn't mean. Do you think I wanted to be this person? What I did to Faith and Lily, to all of them. Don't do Vivian, it. Wait, I... Every day I have to look Gwen and Hans in the eye and pretend I don't care. I have to forget what I've done to them, what I took away from them. I look at Nerissa and I hate myself. Vivian. I can't pretend anymore. What are you doing? Don't Vivian. do it. Don't. Oh. Oh. Vivian. Oh my no. God. What? Fuck! No, 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 no! What the fuck? Why'd you have to do that, Vivian? Vivian! Shit! Just... Jesus. Fuck. That's my reaction as well, to be honest. Vivian, I didn't fucking mean it. I was just... Oh, <laughs> well, you killed another girl. Good job. Hi. <laughs> Not even funny at this moment. Oh my god. Oh fuck! Get up. Get up! Don't think so, Big B. It's not a big deal. I'm gonna die here. I think we both know that. Just make sure you give the crooked man the same treatment when you find him. Really fuck him up for me, all right? He'll get for worse than us. He's gonna get uh, worse. Uh, Don't worry. <coughs> he won't remember Good. it because he's gonna die in two Old minutes. foundry by the river, all right? Shepherd Metalworks. Thanks. He'll be there. Fucking asshole. It's time for the reckoning. You want to finish me off now? No. <laughs> oh, do you plan to kick me around a little first? Rip my limbs off one by one? That's what you want to do, right? That's not who That's I am. not who I am. Prove it then. No more games, all right? We both know how this ends. <laughs> Just make it quick. I know what I did. <laughs> Well, Let's not draw this out. How about right, Georgie? 
If he's gonna die either way, then I might as well do it like this. I don't see how this is less painful. Okay, I guess. If there was an option to save him somehow, I would have do it, did it. But if he is gonna die, then I might as well not let him suffer. I'm not that kind. I'm not that guy. This is exactly what I've been working for, all the the entire game. So this is not who Big B is. I'm so into it. Sorry. <laughs> That's how I play my video games, guys. I get into it. Well... At the sight of naked men and women, I'm leaving this place. Two dead, a few more to go. This is gonna be a bloodbath in this episode, I can sense it. Well, this is the start. The cure has been resolved. It's a shame that in the end of the day, the... Um, the, the, the Fate's dead and Lily's dead ended up being just a minor little thing in the whole plot. It wasn't a big deal in the end of the day, it was just a little thing that was resolved like before the end of the game itself. Well, I mean, the climax was something else. There's his car. Why am I doing this? Still warm. He's here, alright. Good. It's time. It is time. Of course. Of course. Why do you bother locking it anyway? Did you forget who I am? I'm the one who locks. Or breaks doors instead, doesn't matter. So who's left? The Tweedles. I don't I still think the Tweedles will not be a problem because I spread one of them and they're gonna back off. Just the devil, I already beat the shit out of that guy once. I'm gonna do it again. He's not a big deal. And then that leaves Body Mary. I can't wait for my rematch so with her. This is where they've been sending these. Well, this is the <laughs> end game right here. This is it. Am I going to die in the end of the game? That's also what I'm curious about. Big B Wolf. The big bad wolf. <laughs> <laughs> Keep talking. I'm gonna find you. You used to be something. Look at them, all of them. Me. What? They've been following me all, all along, Jesus. Fucking bastards. I'm gonna kill all of you. Fear you. They'd hide anywhere their small shivering bodies would fit. Silver bullets. Silver. My only weakness. Big bad wolf. Shit. It's about time you showed up. I had to take care of some things first. Little errand boy. That's nice. Ah, Bigby. I see you made it here in one piece. I do apologize, but I have some business to attend to. No. I leave you in the capable hands of my associate. Come find me when you finish, dear. Don't worry. This won't take long. Get out of my way now. Don't make this worse. Aw, he doesn't want to play. I'm sure you'll persuade him. <laughs> hey, I'm talking to you. Why didn't I hit her? Didn't your mother ever teach you manners? Or was she too busy fucking whatever breeze drifted through town? Okay, this does it. This does it, you fucking bitch! Oh, oh, come on! Is that the best you can do? Fuck! Come on.
you talk up the game, but in the end of the day you hide. What the fuck was what? Oh right, of course, we haven't seen her true form. I'm sure this is gonna be great. This is actually a bit creepy. What? How the fuck was I supposed to react? <laughs> fuck! Events. Where are you? Come out and face me. Oh, my God. Okay. You look charming. Okay, let's. Fuck. Is she stronger than me? Did I win? Yeah. I didn't expect it to be this easy. Boy, the Mario, right? What? Fuck you first. Fuck you! God. You're pissing me off. What the fuck? <laughs> what? Oh my goodness. Show attack. Oh my God. Oh, and there's the real one. She's on the run. Bitch. 
No! Oh. <sighs> that was... <laughs> I can't even begin to describe how epic that was. That was... Oh my god, that was so good. That was so good. That was the best moment in the entire game. Seriously. Well, it makes sense. I've been fucking werewolf so far. It's only natural that I'm, I am, I actually look like a wolf in my proper form. I never thought about it. Oh my god, you're next, you son of a bitch. I hope you saw this. Whew. Body Mary is Hello, no more. Bigby, you look tired. Give me one good reason not to rip you apart right now. This gun holds six rounds of specially dis- Okay. I won't Fuck. miss next time. Before you do anything with me, I thought I should point out a few things. Snow White wants you to bring me back to the woodlands, doesn't she? And that's what I want. Snow's not here. You're dealing with me now. That may be true, but I'd advise against defying your new boss, at least for the time being. You will bring me back alive. I don't want to ask for is the chance to speak for myself in front of the community. And I'm sure Miss White would agree that I should be given a fair trial. So you can manipulate them. At least agree on that. I will have a trial. Are we clear? You need to tell me right now. We're not going anywhere until I get some answers from you. If you want answers, you're going to have to cooperate. You're not in charge yeah. here. There's no reason for us to be at each other's throats here. That's funny, coming from a guy pointing a gun at my head. This is just a precaution. Of I'm course. sure you understand. I'm no murderer, Mr. Wolf. It's because you're a coward. Women. And I think you know that. All I'm asking for is a chance to explain my side of the story. Maybe you didn't carry it out. I don't think Georgie was lying when he said you ordered their deaths. Georgie would have said anything to save himself. We both know that. I'm a businessman, not a killer. There's still a lot you have to answer for. And I will, as long as you agree to my terms. Because I'm not saying another word until I'm brought before the community. I don't mean to belabor the point, but just so we're clear, if you change your mind and decide to do something stupid, what? you won't get your answers. But you will have a difficult time explaining yourself to Miss White and the rest of this miserable town. You're often reckless, and I worry you're not thinking of the... Let me ask you an honest question. What do you really care about here? Where this case is concerned, I mean. Do you really want the truth? Or do you just want to look like the hero? Because those are two it's about Fable Town. things. This is about protecting Fable Town. When some asshole murders two of our people, it's my job to bring them down. Then why are you here? You know who murdered them. I know his Georgie. boss. He's dead, isn't he? Mm -hmm. My point being, the killer has been dealt with. You've won. You really think I'm that stupid? I understand you have an obligation to bring me in. But you can brighten up a little. It's over. So, shall we get going? I'd rather not dawdle. You know, I'm actually looking forward to seeing this right again. My previous interactions with her have gone rather well. All right, let's go. Hand over the gun. I think I'd rather hold on to it, if you don't mind. What do you say? Nope. This is not gonna happen. I'm sure Miss White will be pleased. Such a reliable pup. I understand why she'd want to keep you around. <laughs> I never said anything about not hitting you. You're under arrest. You'll be given a trial in front of your peers. <clears throat> So you can try to manipulate them. Punishment will follow. I don't like this, but killing him is no—it's not the right way. 
unfortunately he might slip through the cracks, who knows? 